Leeds has a tremendous heritage. We're an institution with a strategy for international excellence, but also we've got this tremendous academic breadth at a very high level across a very wide range of disciplines within the arts and within the creative arts. In the 1950s, the university developed an intriguing and exciting series of cultural fellowships. Some of the most prestigious young artists of their generation were given time and space to develop themselves, but also work with the community. It's about working with the past generation and creating the next generation. The Academy of Cultural Fellows is a group or a cluster of brilliant young artists and scholars who have the time and the space to develop their own individual voices and really make a major impact, both in terms of their own work but at the same time, enhancing student experience right across the institution. It looked like it would give me space and room to grow and develop some parts of my practice. From getting this post, I discovered the way I want to work, which is to collaborate quite widely with other academics in very diverse fields. I came to the University of Leeds in 1975, and I was thoroughly and completely influenced by Peter Paul Nash, and he had a tremendous influence on me. And I'm looking forward to the point where this new generation of cultural fellows can have the same influence on a new generation of students. It was just the chance to have access to all these amazing people to create all this amazing new work and to talk to other creative people in so many different disciplines. I wasn't given the brief to work with scientists over two years. I came to that through a process of following what I was interested in. It meant that I was able to do my own stuff. So one thing I did was I got six composers from the university, six poets from the university, and I paired them with professional opera singers and we created this large scale event with lots and lots of new music. It's nice to be able to make something that has that kind of broad appeal. It was a chance to see that you, you can look outside your department and cross-departmental collaboration is not that hard and quite fruitful. This job really changed my career and I was able to compose almost full time um, for, for two years. I left that job in a really good position. I was just really excited to be here and have the opportunity and wanted to get the most out of it. I look back over the things I've done in my fellowship and I can't believe how many projects there are and how many of those I'm still interested in developing further. The financial aspect of having this fellowship was tremendous. I mean, the main thing was that it just bought me time to, to compose. I've been given time to develop myself. I've been given some funding to actually make some projects happen. And I've been able to do it in an environment where people notice what I'm doing. These fellowships are only going to get better as a result from things that people have learned. It's definitely benefited me but I think it's also benefited the wider university, the students, and the academics, and the profile of Leeds and Opera North. What would make me proudest would be that we can replicate that history, make our own history for the next generation, so that Leeds, and Leeds University in particular, can be associated once again with international creativity. It's all about the creative process, which I think is fantastic, and really, hugely important in any civilization. You know, you have a civilization of human beings because of the creative arts, the things that make people understand human nature better, the things that stimulate a sense of um, culture and, and sophistication and urbanity. I mean, all those things matter. I'm tremendously excited by this project. I think this is a wonderful development for the university to go back to one of its great traditions, but bring it into the 21st century. I wouldn't be where I am now if it weren't for the fellowship.